if you are tracking a lead or a contact form you must check this off otherwise these conversions will not be included in the in the conversion column so you may ask why do they have this why not just include every conversion in in the conversions column you may track a conversion which is let's say someone scrolled to the bottom of the page or visited three pages per session or maybe viewed your video on your uh, website for up to 75 percent of the video so they are not actual uh, mic uh, macro conversions or the main conversions those are my micro conversions so you don't want to include that in um, in this one so for leads always check this off attribution model the default is the last click I personally uh, use the time decay and what the way this works is um, the last click is gives all the credit for that conversion to that last clicked ad so it's kind of like let's imagine a game of football the striker always gets the credit for the goal but the, the other players who passed the ball around to the striker to score do not get any credit but that's not right is it so you need to attribute the credits of that conversion what led to that conversion because if that ball wasn't passed the striker would not be able to to score so it depends on how your attribution model is for your business or for your clients in my humble opinion uh, the time decay is is the most fair one where everybody gets or every ad gets uh, a credit so in here is the last ad on this one the first click gets all the credit uh, the linear if they have clicked on multiple ads all the ads get the same uh, credit time decay is where we can say okay in in this campaign these ads are getting the most conversion so you can bid more aggressively mm -hmm.